Hello, and welcome back to KTech Designs. My name is Seth. In this tutorial, I'll show you a quick way to make a perfect knurl on a, a round surface. This can be pretty useful if you're making uh, a removable cap or let's say a lens cover or even if you wanted to make something smaller like a thumb screw. Uh, you can use this method for all of those and you'll have a easy to print and effective knurled shape. If you're new to FreeCAD, as always, let's start our model on the start page. Create new. Uh, let's change our workbench to part design. Let's create a body and a sketch. We're gonna sketch on the YZ plane. Sorry, XZ plane. Click OK. Uh, the shape we're gonna make is gonna be a simple cap. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with modeling in any threads or any kind of lip for attachment. Uh, this is a non-functional cap. It's just meant to demonstrate the modeling of the neural. Let's go up to create a polyline. I guess I'll start like this. You'll notice that my sketch colors are different from the standard. And that's because I've been doing a lot of customization to make the experience a little bit closer to SolidWorks. Um, I may do a quick video on all of the settings that I have currently. Uh, with those two points selected, let's join those. And then I like to make some uh, symmetrical mirror points here. Uh, let's go to the outside. So that I can dimension on the diameter of the part. Since I know I'm doing a revolved part, I want a dimension on the diameter. Uh, so let's make that. Dang it. Did that wrong. Click both of those. Okay. Uh, we'll do 50 millimeters, which is about two, two inches in diameter. The uh, wall thickness, I'm making 3.5 millimeters. Completely arbitrary. And this one also 3.5 millimeters. I'll just make those equal. And then the overall height is 20. So you'll see everything is black now, meaning that it's fully defined. And that's how SolidWorks handles it. And uh, like I said, I'm a long time SolidWorks user. So this just makes the experience similar. I also changed all of the constraints to green. I know SolidWorks actually has them as black with a green background, but uh, we don't have that option here. So green it is. All right, let's close that sketch. Uh, let's find where the revolve is. The default there is good. You don't have to select this, but it's fine. Click OK. I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to make a chamfer of two, three millimeters. All right. The next step is to model the cutout for our neural. This is technically a, a recessed neural. You can have a recessed neural, which is the, the kind that we're going to model here, or you can have a raised neural. Um, this modeling method can handle both of those. You just change for this recess neural, we're going to use a um, cut feature. But if you're going to make a raised, just uh, use a positive feature. So let's grab a new sketch on the XY plane. I am going to hide that uh, body there. Let's take uh, yeah, we'll make a construction line here. And I'll make a construction circle. So it should be coincident. We know the diameter is 50 millimeters, so that's the value of the circle here. And those did not join, so it's wrong one. Join those. Uh, let's make this 45. 
And then we're going to need to model a square. Oh, that's right. I decided to model in the lower eighth because that makes modeling the square easy. Um, I won't have to make some kind of triangle or a diamond shape over here or whatever. This is uh, easy, easy to use. So make those coincident. Now we're going to make this about a millimeter. Um, we don't need a very large neural. But um, you, know, you could make make this whatever you want. Another way to do it, uh, probably a more accurate way to do it, let's just make that driven, is to dimension from here to here. Make that, let's say, 0.8. Because that's your actual neural depth. Let us close that sketch, because that's all done, actually. Just realized that that was not fully constrained. That's because it's not square. Oh, that's interesting. The endpoints are fully constrained, but the... Huh. Uh, I modeled this as construction geometry. Okay. Oops. Get that back. All right. Now we can see it. Okay, now that we have that our sketch, we're going to make our helical cut. We're going to revolve it around this axis. Now these are all correct. We're going to go based on height and turns. The height of this part is 20 millimeters. So you can see I've got one, two, or one, two, three turns. Uh, that's too many. We want our neural to angle out at about 30 degrees. I've just kind of been eyeballing it. Um, if you type in point 0.1, that gives a pretty good result. All right, click OK. Next, we're going to reuse this sketch, and we're going to do the same exact feature, but we're going to go in the opposite direction. OK on that. Now the final step is to take both of these and create a polar pattern. Uh, that axis. All right, so I've calculated that based on the the width, the uh, arc length of the neural, um, I can fit about 55 occurrences in here. So I'm going to type in 55 uh, and. <laughs> It could take a while for your computer to calculate this. I'm not sure what's going on in the background code that makes this take so long, but so let's type in 55. And we're going to watch it think for maybe three minutes. Wow, there we go. So that was like five minutes. Um, but there you see, we've got a perfect neural. Click OK. And that's it. That's all there's, there is to it. You can see the model spins fairly easily now. Um, maybe developers, if someone knows a developer and can ask them why that's taking so long to model. Um, be nice to know, or if you guys in the comments know why it takes so long to uh, calculate that, let me know. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was a, a useful tutorial for you. Um, I'll show you the printed part after this. And uh, please like the video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials of this kind. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.